Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Luke Mick, and this is my review for Big Hero 6. So Big Hero 6 is the new Disney animated motion picture, and this movie is about a very intelligent 14-year-old boy fighting crime with his friend Baymax, who is a robotic superhero. Now what this movie basically is about is friendship, and just sort of getting along in life, and dealing with tragic times, and that's pretty much what, what sums up Big Hero 6. There are a lot of sad things that happen in this movie to our main character, but he's always able to persevere and fight through his difficult times, and that's basically the main moral or message of of this movie and it's definitely a very positive message. Big Hero 6 is also very cute and lovable. Its main character is likable and his sidekick Baymax, that big white plushy guy you see on the poster of this movie, is just adorable and he's really cute and he's really funny and he's definitely a character that audiences will love. What's not so great about this movie though is that the story is very predictable and the drive of the villain in this movie just doesn't make sense for his character. The villain, there really can only be three people who are the bad guy in this movie from things that you just kind of put together earlier on in the movie and it's just too predictable and the reasoning for this guy being a bad person in this movie doesn't make sense it's not like his character at all and I thought it was really dumb and of course we get a lot of classic Disney cliches in this movie and this movie pretty much follows all those perfectly but it does have likable characters good voice acting of course the animation is just eye-popping, of course. It's Disney. They make really beautiful movies, and this movie is definitely something that's kind of extravagant because it's about a bunch of superheroes running around, and obviously that's going to be really colorful, energetic, and fun to watch. It's just that the biggest thing that was wrong with this movie was the drive of the villain. I just didn't think it made sense at all, and it was really annoying to me throughout the whole entire movie, and also very predictable. Another thing I will say, though, is that the opening short film at the beginning of this movie, Feast, really cute as well. I really liked that short film put on by Disney. It's one of my favorite Disney short films I've seen in a really long time. It's about a dog eating people food. I thought it was really clever and funny and I really enjoyed that. But overall, Big Hero 6 was kind of disappointing. It's definitely a movie that's cute. It's really fun and it's, it, you know, it's all that, but it just had some really horrible problems with its story and that was really, really annoying to me. So I'm going to give Big Hero 6 three and a half out of five stars. If you guys have kids or anything like that, then definitely go take them to Big Hero 6 because that's definitely who this movie is made for is kids kids and it's a movie a movie that kids will really enjoy and I thought it was alright. So this is Luke Mike signing off. Please subscribe and I will talk to you guys later.